Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with Gadrax, and today I'm going to show you how to shoot video and have it automatically upload to YouTube. If you've been keeping up with the news, then you've probably heard of the Walter Scott case. Walter Scott was an unarmed man who was running away and shot in the back by a police officer. The police officer is now in jail, accused of murder. And while the details are still kind of murky, the only reason that this has been shown in the media is because someone took footage of it. So they whipped out their cell phone and started recording the entire thing. And sometimes it's difficult to get this footage because if you're dealing with the cops yourself and trying to record at the same time, they might try to take away your phone or delete the video and these things happen. So today I'm going to be showing you an app called Copwatch. And with Copwatch, what you can do is you can record a video and then have it automatically upload to your YouTube account. So in Copwatch, you'll be able to do several things. The first one is you'll be able to view your rights when filming the police. This guy is for Toronto, but many of the rules still apply here in the United States. Uh, if we go to settings, here you can toggle several features. So you can enable auto start recording. You can enable automatic uploading to YouTube. You can have forced rotation, which makes you turn your phone uh, horizontally so that you can record. If you try to record vertically, it won't let you, but you can disable that as well. And finally, you can make your uploads public or private. Here at the bottom, you can sign into YouTube. And so now let's show you how to shoot video. So here, uh, if I try to record a video while vertical, I won't be able to. So I have to flip it. And you can see now that the record button is red. So I can hit it and the video is now recording. So I'm going to record for a few seconds. You can also turn on flash or you can flip the camera as well. So when you're done, you can hit the record button and the video will automatically upload to YouTube. If you leave the app, it'll do the same thing. So I'm going to do that instead. So I'm just going to leave the app and I'm going to go back into it and you can see that the video is uploading to YouTube. Okay, it says success. And so if I head to YouTube and go to my account, I'll be able to see the video in my channel. And here you can see the video finalizing on YouTube. From there, you can add a title or add tags and also make it public so other people can view it. All right, well, that's it, thanks guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and check out the full tutorial over at Gadgex. All right, thanks guys.